At some point it will not screw anymore, then you just need to pull it. I cannot! Well, you need to be vegan to do this. So. So this is the water system and we have down there the sediment filter and then we have the first, the second and the third filter. So first we start with the sediment filters because there is a similar one over there near the, the sink. It also has a sediment filter. So first we will take this sediment filter, clean it and then replace this sediment filter with the sediment filter near the sink. We also have a filter here where you can access it by closing it and then opening the filter here you just screw it out and then pull it but first you need to make sure it's closed here but now you can just screw it out and pull it at some point it will not screw anymore then you just need to pull it I cannot well you need to be vegan to do this so, so you just screw it out and then you just hold with one hand here and then you just wrinkle wriggle it a little bit out and then pull it and then you have it I don't want to break it. And then you can see there's a little bit of sediment inside. This needs to be cleaned out with a, with a brush of some kind. Never ever use a, a metal uh, scrubber like this for any filters. Ever, ever, ever. This is banned. This is the brush we, we use to uh, clean the, the filters. It has a brush on the, on the tip and also on the other side it has a, also like a toothbrush doesn't need to be super fine, it just needs to be like fast and then gone and that's fine. If you want you can even open the water on the on the red knob and then when it's still closed you can brush the inside a little bit if you feel like it. And then there is a filter at, at the washing machine in the bottom. Hima, move away. And before you do anything just remove the cable from the, from the electric plug because you might get a little bit of a shock. The filter is in the bottom so you need to open the bottom. Just take that one out normally you can just yeah you need to screw it no 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 you need to screw that one anti-clockwise just open it and open it completely yeah that's it just put it in there again yeah and screw it in again that's it that's it you don't have to brush it no it smells bad then you can like use the bum gun to take away the water okay the last filter is at the sink where you wash your hands and your face and stuff, it's in here. Just screw it out with your hands and take out the the, the O-ring, put the O-ring somewhere and you need to push it from the other side with your finger and then wash the, this part. There's like two pieces of uh, like metal where there, are, there is some sediment, like in these two pieces. This needs to be like washed a little bit. And that's it, and then reinsert. After you finish the the filter here, you just check if uh, you just op open it and see if everything is working, and uh, if there's water dripping from here or not. If it works, then everything is fine. You have this uh, metal stuff, and then you insert it in the bottom of the of the thing, like this, and then you will have the plastic piece here on top and then the o-ring is here and then you screw it up and the same with the sink you try to open it and uh, see if it works if it works everything is fine and here is the sink filter under the kitchen and you can actually just move it like this and actually open it in the bottom and it will self clean like this but when we keep clean one once a month we actually disassemble it and uh, clean everything inside Behind the bathroom we have the water filter and there is also a sediment filter here which is the last filter that also needs to be cleaned but if it's if it's quite clean because it's almost never used then it's just enough to open the water and just open the so it will just self uh, clean itself I think that's enough so you can use a chair or whatever and and open the the black little uh, switch on the filter and then you can open the bottom and then it will it will self clean like this for a couple of seconds and then you can just shut it off again and then it will just run out and then you can just switch out switch the the black thing again 
And the idea with the water tank, I think it's good to use the water once a month just to, uh, to change the water. So if we use all the water in the tank, the water will be changed. And I, I think it's a good idea to do that once a month or something, but I don't really know. So if you have any uh, knowledge about that or comments or ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Sediment filter, already been cleaned and then we just need to remove it by detaching these two bolts or whatever they're called. In the beginning you can open this this piece so, so the water will go out. Check if the washers are intact inside otherwise we sometimes the washers are not connected inside so you need to take out the washer and maybe wash it a bit of it but with these types uh, there's no need if the washer is not intact and it's dripping we need to replace these tubes to that will attach the different filters you use a cloth or an old shirt and you use a tool like this and put it inside here and then you put so you don't break your hand push here and push here and then just use your weight and then just do it like this we're pushing here and we're pushing here in most cases you will need a rubber hammer to get it loose you just hit the black handle yes and it's loose then you have different parts this part and then you have this part and and this part and also you take off the washer and then you can take off the the metal cover you just wash it and just put it over here when it's when it's clean so so i usually just brush the half of it and i brush this way because if you brush this way these this metal mesh can like separate and it will break if you if you brush this way, you need to brush away from the edge. I rotate everything. I rotate, and, and when I'm all, all all the way around, I rotate. I, I flip it around so I can take the other edge, and then I just use my fingers for the inside. Just rotate, and then it's clean. And the next piece is just like this. You just uh, you can see there's like green, not mold, like green, uh, like algae growth because there's water and sunlight. This is just something that you can just brush off. This is just a sediment filter so it doesn't really matter because there are like a lot of layers afterwards with uh, active carbon filters to clean the water afterwards. So this is what is the outer part and then the inner part like that and then in the bottom and then you can just clean the bottom and like this like rotate a little bit and that's it. These parts is also you can see the, the algae growth inside. Just brush it the uh, thing outside here and then I just go up and down like this and then just use the end tip to brush the bottom and rotate and brush the bottom and just like this, like this, and like this and then the last part wash it don't have any slime on it and then you just reassemble it this one be careful not to break the mesh so just put it on like this carefully and then put the washer on top and put the, this one with the washer down like this and then put this one on top and just do like this and then at the end just squeeze it together and that should be enough and this one has an arrow you can see the direction of the water so the water goes in here and goes out there so we have this one clean from the from the water filter and now we will exchange this one so we will take this one out and put the one we just cleaned and then we can clean this one and put over there but first we need to shut off the water on the little red knob over there so the old one has been removed and now the new filter is being installed in the correct direction because the arrow is pointing uh, that way so the tightness of the the bolts here should be just so it's just tight enough not not over tight because there are washers there you can actually just open the water and see if it's uh, tight enough or not and as you can see it's not uh, tight enough this one so it needs to be tightened a little bit more and then when you open the water the first time because of all the air 
that is there's no water there so the air will be pushed through and the pipes will there will be a little bit of sediment in the pipes so there will it will be brown when it, when it when we open the water beginning. Oh, not so brown now in the rainy season it's more brown it is the sediment is there's not much sediment in the dry season apparently but it, don't be scared if it's brown so after you clean this one and then you will have to reattach this one to here in the right direction of the arrow like this and then we can take out this two screws and this one you can take it out and then you can wash this part and this one is already not screwed so you can take it out and then wash it so we can use this tool to take it out because the screwdriver is not ready and then we just take this out like this so I will just use the tool here so I just do it like this with the rubber hammer it's easier than I thought I can just take it out and as you can see when you take it out and it has a filter here you can clean it and then also these ones take them out and clean them the two washers take them out and clean them just and clean the insides and that's it put it back together and also clean the, the inside here and that's it just put it back together here are two filters we just open them with the, the tool like this so this is the newest one because the water will go here the last place and then it's out here for drinking so it's the newest one it's number one and this is number two to sometimes if there's water here inside I it's, it doesn't really fit that well so sometimes I, I enjoy to clean it or just dry it a little bit like this so the water there's not much water here then it will not be so difficult to take like attach and detach screw on and screw off and also this part should be a little bit dry also it easy makes it easier to, to attach and detach and you need to make sure that you reattach it very tight yeah if it's not tight then it's you will see when you open the water okay so now everything is clean we will assemble everything together maybe you just need to open the water for one or two minutes or five or five yeah, and it will take some time before the the water will go and push all the air through the whole system. And in the beginning, it will just drip like this, uh, but then it will start just going again uh, as usual. And then you just use the pot, and then you can use this water for watering some plants or whatever. And if it starts dripping like this, then somebody didn't attach this correctly, or there is the or the washer is missing from the inside. As you can see here, that um, this part is already and the water goes out like this the water is goes out like this because it's already cracked you need to change it so now the water is running has run run for five six seven eight minutes or whatever and then also we had a problem with the the washer here or the o-ring that this is the o-ring here the o-ring so we changed the o-ring and yeah this o-ring needs to be changed too soon but otherwise Everything is fine and we will do the same procedure next month.